So the final example, we're going to look at um, an application of what we went over here. So assuming that your goal is to maximize revenue, what portion of the demand curve will you be operating on? Uh, you have three options. Is it elastic? Is it going to be unit elastic? Or is it going to be inelastic? So let's go ahead and draw and try to explain uh, the scenario here. So you draw the demand curve, D1, and you label Q and P here. Now again, what you want to do here is kind of draw like a midpoint right here. And, um, and this is going to be the elastic portion. And uh, on the side here is the inelastic. Now, basically, uh, your goal is to maximize revenue. And so, basically, um, you, don't, you don't really have to draw like um, the, the graph that's going to be underneath. But basically, there's going to be a graph here on the bottom. Um, and this here represents the total revenue. So, if, if you're operating on the elastic portion of the demand curve, then you want to lower the price to try to maximize revenue. Similarly, if you're on the inelastic portion of the demand curve, then you want to raise the price to maximize revenue. And so uh, it's not elastic because you want to lower the price, and it's also not inelastic, so it only leaves one choice here. So you are going to maximize revenue at this point, which is the unit elastic, or unitary elastic. So unit elastic or unitary elastic. So you're maximizing revenue at that portion of the demand curve. So the explanation is that you maximize, um, you, you maximize revenue at the, at the unit elastic point because the left-hand side of the demand curve is going to be elastic. The right-hand side of the demand curve is going to be uh, inelastic. So that's why it is uh, the unit elastic point. So thank you for watching Educator.com.